The hospital and the cancer center have been incredibly successful. The story is told by the number of patients and those that survive and it continually grows larger and larger to where we're, I think now, the third or fourth largest center in the country in terms of number of patients treated. It really began in the 1980s. I was a board member of Jewish Hospital and Washington University. And during that period of time, those two institutions attempted to get together with Barnes Hospital to develop a cancer center. Approximately 15 years ago, a very close friend developed brain cancer, very aggressive brain cancer. But I observed as a close friend of the family how very difficult it was for the family to have to go to Houston. In the year 2000, when I made my major commitment to bring the cancer center into uh, fruition. And the drive began, of course, to raise $125 million for that purpose, which was, I'm happy to say, most successful. A very important part of being a uh, NCI-designated comprehensive cancer center is cancer research. But it turns out that it's not so easy to get money from NIH because they're called on across the country. Funds are limited. So for more difficult research, you need private funding. And so when Dr. Lay, working on a very important area of cancer research, found himself short of funds, I felt that this was an important enough project that I lended my financial support to it. Well, most fortunately, his efforts proved to be successful, and they learned a lot about leukemia and the genes that cause it. As a result of that work that he did, they have received many millions of new financing from the government. Now these are ways in which you see the results that come, which hopefully will lead to a cure someday. But in the meantime, it is certainly helping treat patients and cure patients. It's made this the most important thing in my life because it's so important to so many people. Individuals who contribute to cancer care, cancer research, should know that the impact is almost beyond measure. And until we can conquer the disease, there's no amount of money that's going to be too much. <laughs>